Salamat ko ni pinasalamatan mo ko. Pero mas marami pa sasabihin si Goni. Marami pang pera. Let's welcome Apo. ang uh, Bible study teacher sa New Jersey. Ay, yaki, uh, sister Goni Sumbuan. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Marita kay Praise the Lord, hallelujah, my God. Unang-una, nagpapasalamat ako sa Diyos at nagkaroon kami ng pagkakataon na makapiling kayo na Joel. Kasi actually, we'll just talk of the current or the present or now. In every household, we're not exempted that we go through a problem. Kasi nandiyan yan sa Biblia. While we are in, here on earth, we're not immune to problems. But we are Christians, always uh, have God that we have in faith. Actually, before we come here, me and Joel were talking about uh, the uh, speaking in tongues that I was really gifted by uh, speaking in tongues way back in 1987 in September. Uh, mahaba ito, kaya... Okay. <laughs> okay, we got it. Remember in September 1987? <laughs> when we were when we were walking in Jamaica and we passed by a church and then Ati Bibian said, Oh, I could hear the presence of the Lord in this church. Let's go in. Oh. But at that time, I was so uh, burdened. My heart was really burdened with everything that's going on. And actually... Um, there was a time that I really want to commit suicide because I couldn't carry anymore the problem. So we went into this church that we don't even know, um, Sister Vivian and me, and then we, uh, we were singing the song, and then suddenly because of my burden, and it was really, really, like I couldn't carry it anymore. And I just, I said to the Lord, Lord, I'm going to forget everything. I just want to praise you and worship. And the song was like, I just want to praise you and leave my good and say I love you so I keep on repeating that I just want to praise the Lord I just want to say I love you Lord and then I started talking that I'm controllable that I, I don't even know what I'm talking about but I could feel the presence of the Lord presence of the Lord at the time and and I don't know if you do remember that uh, in one church so then the pastor well, I got nervous. Then the pastor started saying something and I was like, Yeah, whatever the pastor was saying, that's the message. That, that the Lord saying, uh, there is no sorrow that God bless cannot be you know if God bless yes. and then there is no mountain to uh, there's no I, that 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 God no cannot move, and move. there's no problem to that be that be God so. cannot solve. Amen. And you, my sister, I will. If God, if God carry the weight of the, the cross, world. then sister, whatever burdening you, He will carry it. Me. Yeah, the, that's the Lord will carry your yeah. your I just whatever. For that Praise God. God. So and then they started singing that song, the and that became one of my favorites. Amen. You know, and that's just one. So anyway, and Joel wasn't here yet. See, I told you this is way back 87. Now go back to 1988. So that's year two. So we're talking about 30 years. Is that all right? That's it. That's it. That's it. Yeah. So 87, 1987. Then I, so Joel every day. Joel, Joel, that was a, his name before, now he's Joel. He's keep on writing me letters. He's saying, uh, uh -oh. I, I'll see you in September. I'll see you in September. <laughs> when summer is gone. <laughs> uh -oh. Uh -oh. So, and that was September. I said, when is it gonna come? You keep telling me, I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come. Okay. So, September 1988, September, actually it's September 11, 1988. He came here in America. I was here September 7, uh, uh, 9. Oh, what a night. So he said, so, it was, but we believe that God, and his favorite song when he came here is like, 
I, I decided to follow Jesus and I'll never turn back anymore. Oh, yeah. I when I decided remember, to follow Jesus. When I remember, when I remember what the Lord for me, I'll never, never turn never back anymore. anymore. So that was 1988, okay? So we were happy that we were together. Now, we want to have a baby because we've been married how many years already, but nothing's happening. So, 89, we went to an infertility. Okay, so we did everything, you know, and then I had the picture of the baby girl, and that was a nun I told me. Well, yeah, I have a picture of a baby girl next to your room. And if, if I could just, you could just see my house in my room, it's still there. That's the baby girl uh, that was, and I said every night, I pray to the Lord, I believe in you, Lord That's Jesus. So I just, you know, that I will have a baby girl one day. So, fast forward, uh, in 16 years of marriage, I, we were blessed with our daughter. Yeah. Yeah. So, praise to God, praise God. And I was just like, that is so good. Because, I, you know, I, 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 I was. It was, I can't even explain it, it was like 16 years of praying, but even uh, the uh, the lot of them, they said, oh, because we tried almost everything. But God has his prayer. But God I, I believe and I have a proof and I, you know, I believe that God is working, God has plan. And God has his prayer. Look, my daughter. She looks like who? <laughs> she looks like herself. That's what she's gonna say. She looks like her. And she's beautiful. She's talented. And, and I always tell her, you're, you're, you're the best gift that the Lord has ever given to you. You're the best gift that ever happened to me. And I really praise God for that. And, yeah, and uh, she's really talented. Uh, uh, sometimes I look at her, she doesn't really make effort to even uh, all the song and dances and acting yes, that she yes. did, she just excelled on it in the, in the school. You know, I really praise God uh, for life because uh, she's really a true blessing. So um, I'm gonna invite my daughter to sing. Uh, yeah, you can do this later. So, for, so we could uh, really praise and worship God that, and that's one of our aim in life uh, to, the, to, to worship and to praise God and there's more there's more really blessings um, so I'm here in America for 27 years and they're also in the Bible that uh, you see I, I'm sorry but I'm not a, like a I know a lot of Bible verses, but this one is regarding the employee and employer relationship. And I just, it's just like be a faithful servant, you know, and, and uh, at the end, oh, wow. you know, be a faithful servant. Wow. And that's how, the, you know, when you serve the Lord and you serve an employer, uh, just think that you're so serving also God. Faithful. And, you know, just look at that. And guess what? You know, my father died so young, and I have no father in America because I, my father never uh, made, made it in America. But I felt that I have a real father. Uh, my boss, who uh, after 27 years of service, he gave me the company that I wow. serve, so that's really a real blessing. So now, uh, you know, I can't even imagine like uh, why this father really uh, in heaven. That's powerful. You know, it's really powerful because I, I, I just serve him like the Lord is telling me in the Bible how to serve your employer, yeah. and it's it's not like I I wouldn't say it pays off, but. Uh, it's just how how the Lord Amen. has a promise to us that uh, in everything you do, you put that first. Amen. And in Matthew 6, 33, seek ye first. first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, right. and all these things shall be Amen. added unto you. Amen. So I have, wow, a guapo husband. Yeah. I have a beautiful daughter. And I have our own company, both of us. And, uh, so praise God. Yeah. Testify the Lord, and that is very, very true. So, uh, what else could I say? But praise the Lord and worship God. To God be the glory. 
and uh, I, I love the Lord and I love serving the Lord. By the way, just a plug in. We do have a Bible study every other Friday in our house, and everybody is welcome to attend. Uh, uh, yeah, it's uh, in Rahway, New Jersey. I always post it in Facebook. So it's at 7.30 every other Friday. Uh, we started with singing uh, the praise and worship, the Lord, and then prayer, of course. Uh, very powerful, and then we read the Bible, and uh, after that we... Uh, uh, pray again and have fellowship. So, a lot of times there is a hot pizza, sir. So, <laughs> so everybody, if you're uh, available every other Friday, uh, please uh, attend our Bible study. Praise God. Thank you. Amen.